Hello everyone, my name is Chris Thomas and I'm Director of Choral Activities at Rowan University. Welcome to our concert. Just as all of you have been kind of thrown upside down, so were we and so was the choral program. We certainly had our ups and downs trying to find our way, rediscover what it was that we were to do, and in many ways, kind of redefine our objectives. One of the things that wasn't different this semester is the tenacity and the heart and the passion of our singers. Many were able to come and sing on campus and many were not, but together somehow we found a way to sing and to make music. One of the other things that wasn't different this semester is the behind the scenes work. If you are more of a concert attender and maybe less on the performance side, you would know that most of the magic is what happens in rehearsal. The performance is really just a snippet of what it is that we were able to accomplish. This semester was no different. I tried my best. My students, they tried their best. And I, I admitted to them rather humbly that I'm not sure that I really taught them anything this semester. I'm not sure that I really helped them make better vowels or unify sound or improve their understanding of style. But what I did tell them is that I know that I've learned more about life and more about what's important to my life than I have in any other time, in any other circumstance. And I think that they did too. Enjoy this snippet of who we are. Singing music with themes of protection, of love, of comfort, and of hope. Things that I know we needed to hear, things that we needed to sing, and whether or not we believed them, we knew that if we sang it again and again, maybe it would ring true. I hope that you enjoy some of the best of Rowan University's student body, students that I self selfishly call mine.
Hi, my name is Timothy Hertz. I am a sophomore music education major and I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. So the Social Justice Handbook is really just a big book of songs about social justice and about spreading love and about equality. And um, we did this project um, close to the time that George Floyd and Breonna Taylor were murdered and um, there was just a lot going on in the country. Um, at the time, and there still is a lot going on in the country, but um, I think we did it because we just wanted to feel a sense of unity amongst each other, um, just to encourage each other that there is still good in the world, um, and that we do have a lot of work to do as American citizens, as citizens, period, but um, especially as American citizens, we have a lot to do. Oh, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around, turn me around, ain't gonna let nobody, oh, gonna keep on walking, keep on talking, marching on to freedom land. No. What I liked about the project is, once again, it gave me an opportunity to show, you know, where I come from and show what I'm passionate about. As you can see by my background, I'm very passionate about um, my culture and racial equality. When I lift my voice, let it be in song, a defiant note in the face of wrong. I won't stand alone, we'll stand side by side. Cause we know that love is always justified. Resilience, oh, we are strong. Shoulder to shoulder, keep moving on. Resilience, oh, we can do it. Yes, it's hard to keep going, but it's best to spread again. I would say that for the Rowan Crow Department, I think that this project was very eye-opening. Um, I would hope that some people found out and discovered that, you know, their culture is not the only culture in the world. Um, it's not the most appropriate culture in the world. It's not right or wrong. It just is what it is. I think that, you know, all people of different cultures have different ways of delivering the same messages and doing the same things. And if we only view one culture as the appropriate way to do so, that is a problem. And, you know, I would hope that this project has opened the eyes of so many that, you know, this is, this is history. We have learned so much about the past of America. And I would hope that by now, people will be, be more understanding, um, you know, and accepting. But if they're not, hopefully, <laughs> this project, um, you know, it, it helps in any way. I think that there's always something to be learned about yourself, about others. And um, I just hope that we as music majors, and not even music majors, just choir members, because some of us aren't even music majors. I just hope that we take what we learned in Wilson or on Zoom, um, especially with this project, and not only, you know, apply it to the rest of life on campus, but apply it to the world and show them that the props are here to stay. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I just think overall this project was very, very, very eye-opening. And I hope that everyone, you know, the audience and the performers learned something about social justice. Inequality. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. No trials mount on every 
Cosman. I am a transfer student at Rowan. I'm a vocal music ed major. I'm considered a junior. Um, and today I'm going to talk about the social justice handbook that we did, um, our concert choir, the disc, uh, put some stuff together, videos um, of singing, dancing, poetry, anything like that. Um, and this project was given to us by Dr. Thomas, which was amazing. Um, I'm really happy we got to do something like this. That slowly we rise with our voices in the twine, the revival has only just begun. This was important to me because um, being a Latina or Hispanic, um, Growing up in Camden, I always had to reach a little harder for things that I wanted. Um, and I mean, I could say that, you know, I wasn't supposed to be where I am today, but I made it here because I believe that we all have equal opportunities to do um, things that we want to do. Um, I do believe that, you know, everybody has their own path, but some people have a little, a little more difficulties in their past, some people have more uh, roadblocks and stuff like that um, and then others can get carried right through that path so um, I was never one to be carried through my path be the change you want to see in the world be the change you want to see in the world be the change you want to see in the world and change will come to you. feel like personally it was something that needed to be said, it was something that needed to be heard, something that needed to be shared and um, I think that this was really important and um, much appreciated for people who need to know that they matter. And